Well, my journey from graduation started literally the Monday after I graduated. On a Saturday in May of 88, and that next Monday I started my first full-time job as a news reporter for WGVU Radio down at the new Eberhard Center that was just built. I made the move to Washington, D.C. in January of 94 to work for Congressman Vern Ehlers. I came in as the 235th press secretary in terms of seniority and by the time that I left, I was fifth in seniority. We moved back to Grand Rapids in uh, 2002. That's when our youngest daughter, Maya, was born, and Janelle followed in 2004. But in August of 2002, I began my 19-year career as the Director of Alumni Relations at Grand Valley. You know, I thought I was gonna be in the position for maybe seven, eight years, and boom, <laughs> 19 years uh, uh, went pretty quick. I'm proud of the 50-year class reunion for the class of 1967. It was the first 50-year reunion that we held at the university for the first graduating class. We recreated where they had their first graduation ceremony complete with a tent right in the same exact spot. We were able to bring back the son of the first president and he wasn't introduced until the very last minute until he got up on stage. Nobody knew who he was or why he was there. Uh, and to see the surprise and faces of those graduates was, you know, that made it all worthwhile. I now work as the Director of Development at the Levine Museum of the New South. Being a Laker for a lifetime means treating people with respect and then also being helpful to people who need help. I think that that's the spirit of Grand Valley. When you see someone, especially another Laker in need, you reach out and lend a hand and you help. And, you know, during my time at Grand Valley, that's that was always evident and I, I always appreciated that.